I think if I were to just walk down the street, I don't think anyone would realize what my career is. And I think that's the beauty of being an illustrator. I honestly don't think anyone could really tell because they come from such a diverse walk of life. Same with a lot of other creative industries. I was born in Hong Kong um, and was raised between Kitchener and Mississauga. I have zero memory of Hong Kong. I immigrated here when I was 18 months old, but my parents were refugees there, so I was born as a refugee. I've always loved to draw, so when I was in high school, I knew that's what I wanted to do, was get into something where I can draw for a living. So most of my ideas are actually just from living my everyday life, from my earliest memory up until today. Basically just problem solving with images and I use the tools of everyday life in order to help me problem solve those images. I do have two different uh, illustration styles. The stuff that I do for clients are much more warm. They're very line heavy. My other illustration style, which is my horror style, is there is no color. It's only black and white. It is much more cold, but it's still very narrative driven. This is the very first uh, horror manga zine that I created. This was done in 2014. and. That began the journey of the rest of these. I'm a huge horror buff. I love horror um, just because I love exploring what makes you feel really uncomfortable. I think fear is that emotion that makes us all super uncomfortable. It's pure instinct when we react to fear. And so I started doing horror images. And I do black and white because I love leaving all the gross detail up to the imagination. It is a little disturbing. It is very bloody, but it's something I really enjoy to do. As an independent artist, the way I build a community around my work is that I try to put myself out there on social media. I do try to be as honest as possible whenever I post content. And I do believe that people who follow my work can relate to that. And I do think that's a, a huge reason why they choose to follow me or support my work. So the way I navigate this industry as a queer woman of color is to constantly make work and put myself out there so that other women who look like me, who can identify with my story, can find that part in themselves that they relate with and they can also think, you know, I, I could do this too.